like a, a, a Canada team who uh, dominates us again, and we try to uh, hold against. What did you learn about them in the pre-tournament game you played? Learn uh, that we are far away from them still. They're uh, faster, they're bigger, they're stronger, they can shoot better, they can pass better, they can do everything better. So is this what you'll tell your team? Like, what do you say to your team? Exactly that. <laughs> and and we and uh, to, uh, try to fight against. What we what, what I want to say? You know, they have like I don't know how many uh, other first rounders they have. How many? Seven. Huh? Seven. And the rest in the second round? Yeah. Huh? And one in the fourth round who play like uh, the most NHL game so far. Yeah. So what I want to tell against? It, it just, we just uh, battle, battle and try to battle. We have one in the fourth round too. One. And the rest <laughs> is not drafted. Is it good though that you can kind of be the underdog and no pressure? Well, for pressure, it, 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 I, I don't know that word, pressure. We don't have pressure at all. How have you seen your team progress through the tournament? Where are you guys at as a team right now? Well, we are the youngest team from the from the whole tournament, so uh, it's, uh, it's it, that, that's the the positive thing, you know, that we can learn out of it, and uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, like on small games, we are not used to it to play in small games. That's the other thing, and uh, about the intensity, about uh, the aggressivity, and uh, and uh, young kids can learn quick, and uh, let's see how we can uh, adapt against Canada. The small games, you mean the small ice? Small ice, yeah. yeah. Well, the experience of playing on this stage against Canada should be a, bet, a big crowd uh, of fans there. Will that be helpful even if the result goes against you for the players? I hate for, help, helpful. It's just uh, uh, nice to make that experience huh? for, all, for all the players, for their future. Absolutely. How do you like the leadership of your captain and in, in what he's able to do both in terms of how he leads on and off the ice? Well, it's uh, you know this last year we had Hishe who was a, a great leader for us and he, he stepped up in the in the important moments, and we had uh, Sigenthaler on the on uh, on the D side and uh, that there was and for Eka it's, it's it's not easy this year. It is also an underage, and uh, you know like we we need uh, three lines who take leadership, not only one player. And he, he do a great job uh, off ice and uh, in the dressing room and on the on the ice. It's it's not easy. Be a player that the players like to emulate in terms of his aggression and and the way he attacks the puck. Would you say that that's fair? Yeah, well, that's this uh, style of play, uh, to play hockey. He's an energy player, and uh, we don't have we don't have so many crazy uh, skill guys like 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 his last, last year. But uh, we will battling as hard with as we can against Canada, and let's see on the end who's, who who win that game. In a way, is it a victory for you guys to make the quarterfinals to avoid the relegation games? Well, it's we, it's always for us. It's all, always one game. Oh, last three years was Denmark, and this year it was Belarus, and uh, and we know that. And uh, and then uh, when, like I said, and next year maybe when everybody is one year older and uh, and ten kilos stronger from the underages, then uh, we are more competitive.